good morning everybody this is Donnie and Sandra and we are coming to you from another uh, Carolina thread trail and this one is called the Toby Creek Greenway slash Ruth G Shaw trail segment kind of a long name um, but this is a new one um, and there's a kiosk right over here where Sandra is and let's check that out okay um, now we're parked here this is where we're parked at this is the Mallard Creek uh, Greenway um, little parking area and um, on East Mallard Creek Church Road but we're gonna start here and we're gonna go underneath East Mallard Creek Church Road under the underpass and then we're gonna uh, go we're gonna be on Mallard Creek Greenway just for a little while quarter well, a quarter mile. mile that's what it's showing here and then we're gonna go all the way this right here is the Toby Creek Greenway it's like we're passing through UNC Charlotte yeah so we're gonna it's gonna be a nice walk we're looking at how much the distance was that again 2.8 miles. miles so we're expecting at least uh, three miles on this one, at this least three miles. miles and we had to add that quarter of a mile to it, I guess. All right, and you got your app clocking, yep. and mm -hmm. so, but we'll check it out. But we're going to be going through. It looks like some, maybe some little shopping centers and little shopping areas. We'll show you some neat little things on the way as we see them. Again, this is the first time that we've ever done it, and so, uh, but let's get on the trail and see what we can see. Okay, here's the Mallard Creek Church Road. Um, overpass I will say this you can't be too tall you'd be about six foot running here you're gonna bump your head we are another thread trail emblem and as always if you see this you know you are on the right trail now this is something new um, I have never seen before and they've got a little kiosk here about her it says diver a flood marker um, it says living with water it says local creeks flowing onto their floodplains are mother's nature's way of slowing down raging streams flooding reduces creek damage filters pollutants uh, recharges soil nutrients and brings life to wetlands buildings streets and parking lots have been built in areas meant to store flood water by shifting existing development out of floodplains and accepting future flood levels we can adapt to our changing environment and it says a uh it's got this guy here, I'm not sure. It says, a submerged snorkel allows humans to survive and adapt to water. This marker serves as a playful metaphor for our need to accept and adapt to the risk of flooding. And so there's an artist, as an artist that did that. And it says here, the future. Future is the height that new buildings must be constructed above Mecklenburg County pioneered future floodplains in 2002 to account for changing environment so that new homes and businesses or business are reasonably safe from future flood damage 100 year this term entered the american vocabulary in 1973 and i'm assuming these are markers that are on here you can see future at the very top and then there's another marker down there but anyway going on it says the federal government began mapping a one percent annual chance flood level to enforce minimum building heights and require flood insurance flooding to this level has 26 percent chance of happening over the life of your 30-year mortgage month date this is the date of the highest known record flood level the first stream gauge in Mecklenburg County was established along uh, Little Sugar Creek near Tavola Road in 1924 uh, stream monitoring wasn't exp expanded 
until 1962 when four gauging stations were added. And so, um, any rate, let's check this out. So there's, future is here. Future. And then 100 year. So I guess buildings have to be built. Or well, they're saying their foundations have to be that high or something? November 2020, that's the highest water's Okay, 100 year. And what'd you say? November 2020. November 2020, guys. The water's got as high as that. Sandra, stand underneath that. For give you, we need, we need something to, for scale. That's how high the water's got over here in 2020, November 2020. My goodness. This whole area was flooded then. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, they're right near a creek. And so, uh, but still, that's some high waters. Now this is what you said was the light rail. Interesting. Okay, we're still somewhat on, beyond the beginning of the trail. This is where that junction is. You got Mallard Creek Greenway, and then here's Toby Creek Greenway. And then we saw that, um, oh, what was that called? The diver, oh, that diver marker, flood marker. We saw that in this area here. And, uh, but they have a, we've been seeing signs here and there about the ROTC training grounds. And so, um, well, this is where we're at here and um but they got a large uh portion of this um area is the rotc training grounds now right here is the the light rail right in at the light rail you can see sandra for scale and we're going to walk right up underneath this thing here's the trail here Oh, look at this. Oh, that's, pretty. that's cool. The uh, design on the side there. Wow. That is wild. Okay. We are right here. And this is where we started up here. And so, and UNC Charlotte campus is right over here is in this area all out through there. I'm not sure what this is, um, but uh, we're headed down this way and we're doing pretty good. And so we're almost halfway. And again, there's another trail system going this way, but this right here is the Carolina Thread Trail. And so they uh, made a they made this trail right here the Carolina Thread Trail and so but it is called the Toby Creek Greenway and so the they what also the Ruth Shaw the Ruth Ruth Shaw okay that must be her there then mm -hmm. and so the uh, let me just see what it says here Ruth G Shaw has blazed many trails in Mecklenburg County and surrounding region she was founding she was founding board chair of the carolina thread trail hmm. wow chair for unc charlotte's board of trustees and for the uncc foundation board she served as president of central piedmont community college and as president and ceo of duke power company a respected civic and business leader she has made her mark in higher education, environment, energy, and economic development. Uh, this trail honors Dr. Shaw's many contributions, particularly her service to UNC Charlotte and the Carolina Thread Trail. So, even I learned something there. Somebody put some time into these bricks. My goodness. Each one of them's got something on it. Well, there's like here and there. And it says, uh, now, of course, you're t 
you're looking at a at a guy that or this is a guy that's saying he's not a sports sports person but it says this is niner nation and so must be the name of the temple it says right here 49ers and so i'm not sure what this is here the what be a good place to have a farmer's market well here's a plaque on the wall here let's see what the plaque on the wall says okay it's the hauser alumni pavilion if i'm pronouncing that hauser wrong just forgive me hauser, hauser. hauser um, dedicated on september 26 2015. uh let's see the hauser alumni Pavilion commemorates the outstanding commitment of David and Nancy Hauser, both class of 1977, to support the students, faculty, and athletic programs of UNC Charlotte. And so it's got some more information about them. And so, but there you go. And so, but yeah, look at those speakers. So it's like a little get together area. water fountain bathrooms got a, oh, a little you can fill up a water bottle does your water bottle need to be filled up and then the rest of rooms and the trail is right down through here boom that's a nice place to take a break Nice shaded area. Okay, right a little junction here. I'm going to show you where I believe we are at on the map. And, but it, I think this right here is just, they just giving you two ways of the, the, trail kind of splits off it goes up here so that's the way sandra went and then it comes this way where i'm at so i'm going to go in the tunnels because that's the way i roll i see some raccoon tracks hello There's a sign that says, you are made of sawdust. And so I got me a cyclist coming through here and looks like they got stars. And various types of graffiti. Okay, I think that's what it is. Maybe this right here is, oh, I see little minnows. My goodness, look at all of them. Little minnow-sized fish. Yeah, that's all it is. I guess the where I was at, you saw the cyclists go by. I think that's what it is. Maybe for people with bicycles that just runs in. That way they don't have to stop. <laughs> 